was a good, good dry run. Okay. okay. So you were going to talk about your background and um, connection to the course. Exactly. Uh, hello, my name is Eric Sandin. I teach ESM 105, Introduction to Environmental Studies. Uh, first, a little background about myself. Uh, I did most of my uh, graduate work in natural resource management, uh, specifically grasslands management. Uh, and I uh, also specialized in geographic information systems and remote sensing, remote sensing being the use of satellite imagery and uh, aerial photography to manage natural resources. I worked for a time with the Natural Resource Conservation Service before uh, becoming a professor here at the University of Wisconsin in River Falls. I have been here for 20 years and uh, I've taught a, uh, this course, uh, at least several sections of this course, every year for those 20 years. Uh, when I was a grad student, I also taught a version of this course. So I've had a lot of history in natural resource management and a lot of uh, specific history in, in teaching uh, this course. In addition, I have uh, taught this course uh, via the uh, internet and broadcast it to various high schools uh, three times and with, with a very good success I was able to interact with the students and with the instructors at those uh, remote sites and uh, it worked out very well. I've also uh, taught this course six times uh, as an online course for a program that we have here on campus called Sustainable Management. Uh, virtually the course, same course, I did add a bit more about sustainability in it, uh, but I've taught this course many, many times and in many different formats, uh, broadcast with distance learning as well as uh, online courses. Uh, the course itself is, uh, as I say, an Intro to Environmental Studies, and it is comprised of three main units, the first unit being the uh, ecosystem principles. Uh, it's important to have a good, strong foundation on how ecosystems function before we can really talk about anything else. So I spend a good amount of time looking at things like uh, energy flow, looking at things like uh, cycling of nutrients, uh, talking about things like limiting factors, keystone species, predator-prey relationships, symbiotic relationships, on and on and on. So uh, that is kind of the, the, the main foundation of the course. Uh, I then branch off into humans uh, humans reliance on the environment uh, for the goods and services that they, they, they derive, the tens of trillions of dollars each year that they derive from natural systems, and then finishing up the course in looking at the human's impact on the environment and then how we can manage it for the long term. Uh, I just want to mention also a little bit about my philosophy in, in teaching this course. Uh, especially in the last uh, decade or so, these issues have become quite polarized. So uh, I, I try uh, my, my approach so that I can capture everybody uh, and bring them into these issues is to focus on the science and not, not so much on the emotionalism. Uh, I do certainly give them license to interject their, their personal opinions uh, on that solid foundation of the, of the background science. I also try to accomplish this by, being, by, by presenting both sides of these issues as objectively as possible. My goal is in some of these controversial issues that the student never knows what side of the issue I fall on. Now, I don't know how good of a job I do, but that is certainly my, my intent and my goal. And I have, actually, I have had really good feedback, especially in the online course where people had uh, mentioned that they really appreciated the fact that I didn't, you know, stand on one side of the issue and just kind of use my position as a, as a soapbox. So, for example, like looking at population, you know, is there overpopulation? Is there not? There's a really good argument to be had there. Looking at the cornucopian argument that, you know, the earth is, is very plentiful and we as humans are able to uh, advance and, and, and and uh, overcome some of these shortages versus the Neo-Malthusians who look at it from the standpoint of a biological system and that we're in a J-shaped growth curve, exponential growth curve, that's destined for a crash. So I try to present topics like that, uh, both sides of them, and then let the students uh, look at the, the uh, information and, and decide for themselves. So uh, all said, it's been a very, very rewarding course to, to teach. I will certainly customize it for uh, your high school students. I would. Uh, uh, use more interactive media. Uh, I'm looking at some video clips and some good projects to add to it uh, and then to customize it for the audience. But uh, I hope to work with you and uh, meet you sometime in the near future. Thank you.